If you're into real-time strategy games, you're likely familiar with the Homeworld series, which first took flight back in 1999. And many moons later, we're gearing up for parts unknown in Homeworld 3. And here to make those parts known to us right now is Homeworld co-creator Rob Cunningham. Rob, how you doing? I'm well, thanks. How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic. Now, let's kick this off. Now, you know, Homeworld returning represents uh, the return of I would have to say one of the most iconic space strategy games of all time. Uh, how is today's technology kind of like allowing uh, your team to truly bring Homeworld back uh, the way you first envisioned it? Back in the day, in, and I'm talking like 2000, 2001, uh, we had dreams of what we would love to do with the fantasy and the, and the sci-fi you know, style and, and, and world. Uh, and it was simply impossible. It just couldn't be done. Um, so we ended up putting stuff into the backdrops and the skyboxes and stuff like that. But um, now with Unreal and the, and the technology we've got, we're totally able to bring that into the game and, and just really give it the depth and structure that we dreamed of back in those back in those days. Homeworld 3 is is a continuation of, you know, the story you, you first set out to explore many years ago. Like, uh, wh what can you tell us about uh, the expansive universe uh, we'll get to explore uh, in the campaign? So the campaign is, a con it's obviously a sequel. So the campaign is the, is the continuing of events after Homeworld 2. So, um, you know, at the end of Homeworld 2, uh, you know, the player has shown this, there's a huge discovery of a, of a hyperspace gate network across the entire galaxy. So, you know, travel could be, you know, easy and ubiquitous for everyone. And it was sort of billed as this glorious golden age of Sujet that was going to take, take place. And, you know, as, as, uh, as is often the case, you know, what, what appears to be wonderful turns out to not be quite so wonderful. <laughs> and there's, there's darkness and, uh, and problems, of course. Um, uh, to deal with as the story as the story develops. Now, now with that, uh, what with that knowledge that we have now, what what key elements can you uh, kind of tell us that'll I guess help us understand uh, the narrative direction uh, moving forward in Homeworld Three? So the hero of the Homeworld franchise from Homeworld One to Homeworld Two was Karen Sujet. She was Fleet Command and the sort of mind and uh, of the mothership and uh, she was the navigator of the mothership and she was mentally you know plugged in with cables into her head into the hyperspace core of the mothership um, which allowed her to you know travel vast distances uh, and so forth. Um, Homeworld 3 takes place about a hundred years after Homeworld 2 and the hero from uh, Homeworld 2 Karen Sajet is has been lost in space, and uh, a great problem is is taking place in the galaxy. You know, gates are uh, we're having all sorts of catastrophic problems. Uh, so the player uh, is introduced to a new character uh, called uh, Imogen Sujet from the same Kith, uh, which is the science Kith in in the in the fiction, um, and she's the sort of successor to Karen. And, and the new mission to go and you know deal with the problem uh, is is sent and. That's the player's job, to deal with the problem. One way to deal with the problem is, of course, uh, with combat. Now, we got fleet combat. The fleet combat system, I have to say, it looks breathtaking uh, in this next installment from what I've seen so far. Uh, what can we expect uh, to be, you know, kind of like the same and different in Homeworld 3 uh, combat-wise? So players can expect the same basic staples of fleet combat with the different classes of ships from the strike craft up through the capital ships into the super capital ships um, and the same sort of ballistics and uh, you know you know unit pairing uh, that was that was established in the previous games but new to the franchise with Homeworld 3 will be all sorts of terrain based gameplay so because we can we have these giant structures in space, huge megaliths, you know, uh, giant ice shelves, you know, all sorts of incredible uh, geometry in the level. It's no longer just empty 3D space. Uh, now we have, you know, cover as a mechanic, there's hiding uh, as a mechanic, there's, um, you know, bottlenecking and unit filtration through different um, apertures and cavities in the terrain, so it's it's much more um, interesting and dynamic as a as a combat uh, as a combat as a fleet combat game. Now, now with that knowledge, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure, Rob, you you probably have seen what some of the fans have been saying uh, online. 
I know I, I do a lot of trolling online and fans have been asking on Reddit, uh, will mothership management be more like uh, Deserts of Eric or uh, will they be able to kind of like specialize, customize mothership uh, in Homeworld 3, like over arcs and campaigns? Like how, how, how what can you tell us about that? So the short answer is there will not be mothership customization like there was in uh, Deserts, but the, there will still have that um, mothership progression, uh, you know, and, and, sh and sh ship production progression over, over the course of the campaign. Uh, I'm super excited uh, for Homeworld 3. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Yes. Now this game sounds, dare I say, out of this world. Yes, it does. 2023 can't come anytime sooner for us to hop on into Homeworld 3. Now we're going to keep the gaming goodness coming with more, so don't go anywhere.